give us victory on every other side. It is a prayer that God will give us victory. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you. What can wash away our sins? Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes. Mm, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood. The blood of Jesus. Oh, what can make me whole again? Nothing. And by the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that, that makes me white, white as snow. No, other I found I know nothing. Not the blood, the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes, the blood of Jesus that gives a victory on every other side. Oh my God, then this. I see nothing, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh my, this and this, my plea, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, oh, pre precious is the flow that makes. Makes me white, white as snow. No, and I found, I know, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Oh Jesus, you so much, young and uncle too. The blood of Jesus, that gives us victory. The Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of his testimony. The blood of Jesus gives us victory. It is the blood that brings victory. And mm -hmm. my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. This is all my rock. Righteousness, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that, that, that makes me white, white as snow. Oh, and I found, I know nothing. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we bless you. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. We thank you for this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Come and speak to us, minister to us, in the name of Jesus. Once again, we bring you greetings from the Lord, God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It is our prayer that this fasting and prayer that we are fasting seven days will bring something jesus said except fasting and prayer some things in life because when you go into the bible i started studying some kinds of prayer that people prayed in the bible and you will see that all the kinds of prayer that they prayed the only thing that can move the hand that moves the world is prayer the bible says elijah has a passion like us human beings but he was able to pray and lock the heavens. Through prayer, mouth of lions were shut. Through prayer, some people walk in fire. Through prayer, some people, they, were, they decided to kill them. They built their own gallows, gallows to hang them on. But in, through prayer, it was exchanged. My prayer for you is that as we pray, 
May every plans of the enemy return back to them. David said, "By my God, I have run through a troops and I've leaped over a wall." The reason is that uh, there was not a single time that David will not inquire of the Lord. Maybe anyone among you said, "David, I call on Konya Mianim, on Konya Mianim, no, I could be saved already." God was always giving David victory on every other side. My prayer for you, a child of God, somebody that is listening to me, that you go before God. Hey, every religion on this earth knows that there is a God. And every religion pray. And so everybody knows that prayer works. But how many Christians pray? Except that they, they go to somebody for somebody to pray for them. My prayer is that you know Jesus is coming. Jesus Christ went to the garden uh, with the garden of Gethsemane with the disciples. And he told them a secret to life. Go and read Matthew 26 and the verse 40. The Bible says he came and met them sleeping. And he said, you could not wait with me an hour. Watch and pray that you enter in, not into temptation. And every day the prayer is given to us to prevent us from going to troubles. To prevent the enemy from coming to us. But people will wait until something happens before they begin to pray. May the Lord revive you. May the Lord open you. May God help you to understand the battle of this life. Remember that our scripture that was given to us by Papa Bright, Ephesians chapter 6. I will read verse 12. Verse 12. And I will read verse 13. And we continue crashing every demonic instruments. Remember that the Bible says in Isaiah 54 that no weapon. Let me go back to Isaiah 54 and I'll come back. Isaiah 54 and I'll read verse 16. And for you to understand that there is a weapon that the enemy will forge against you. They, they gather together and they hide themselves. They mark your steps. All they are thinking is to dis destroy. They are very wicked. Remember that we are not resting against. Isaiah 54 verse 16. He said, Behold, I have created a smith that blows the coal in fire. That brings forth an instrument for its work. I have created the waste to destroy. And so God said, that's God who was speaking. God said, I have created the one who comes and waits to destroy it. But understand that again he said no weapon yes they have created the weapon and they are weapons to destroy but concerning your life as a christian as a child of god as a righteous person no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that will rise against you shall be condemned and you see the bible and here he said this is our righteousness this is, is the heritage of the servants of god Meaning that you have inherited it from our God. Our God has given you an inheritance. That yes, they will form a weapon. Yes, they will gather again against you. And the Lord said, when they gather against you, it is not of me. Yes, they will gather against you. It is not of me. Isaiah 56 and the verse 6 says, they will gather and they hide themselves. They mark your steps. And whenever they mark your steps, <laughs> the Lord said, it is not of me. And so God is always protecting his children. No wonder the Bible says, for the eye of the Lord runs to and fro. All that the eye of the Lord is doing is to protect, find somebody whose heart is perfect. And God will begin to wage war on your behalf. May God <laughs> wage war and every weapon of the enemy, every battle of the enemy, may it not succeed in the name of Jesus. Remember Psalm 91, God through his word told us that they that dwell under the secret place of the Lord. And so there is a secret place. I pray that you go there and hide. And that secret place is under the wings of Jehovah. It is true. Jesus said, I am dead. And your life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Go and read Colossians 3. 3. And so the secret place of God is in Jesus Christ. It's in Jesus Christ. Find a place in Jesus and hide yourself. Find a place in Jesus that you have divine protection. There is no protection anywhere. The only protection that you can have is in Jesus Christ. Go and read Revelation chapter chapter 12. And read verse 10. He said they overcame him by the blood of the lamp. 
and the word of his testimony. The only thing that overcame the blood, uh, overcame the enemy, was the blood of Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 6 and the verse 12 that was given to us by our Papa for this fasting and prayer. My Papa Bright, if I get it right, this uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and the verse 12 said, For we rest not against flesh and blood. My prayer is that somebody you will understand. A friend, pastor of mine, also for Kofi say, always says, the unseen control the natural. And when you talk about these things, people don't have the spirit of God, the mind of God don't understand. My brother, my sister, we rest not against flesh and blood. We are not fighting against this flesh and blood. But the Bible states says clearly that against one principalities, principalities and so there are four different kinds of power spiritual power wickedness and so the principalities are there and again it continue to say that against powers and against the rulers of darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places spiritual wickedness in high places four different kinds of wickedness that human beings we are fighting and the sad aspect of it is that we are human beings and they are spirits. Even if they are standing beside you, you cannot, you cannot see them. That is why Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Find a place in the Lord Jesus. Christ, my brother, my sister, find a place. Somebody will tell you oh, it is not true. It is it's not true, my brother, my sister. You don't know the kind of spirits that people have. You don't know the kind of spirit they possess. Some of them, hey, they, they, they are being controlled by the devil. And so, when they come to you and tell you it is not working, then you follow them. You go. You live to regret. Find Jesus. Jesus will never disappoint you. Say, abide in me when you abide in me and my words abide in you. Find a place in Jesus Christ and abide in him. You will never be disappointed. Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. My prayer is that every demonic instrument, everything that the enemy have formed against you, every word they are planning, especially people of God that have traveled overseas, and every day tells you, don't think that all is well for you. Especially the people that you left home, thinking that you have traveled to overseas, you have crossed the Red Sea, and so everything is working good for you. People that that you love them. There are many people that, 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 that smile with you. The whole that they are thinking that 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 you, you, you feel. Not everybody, but many of them. But let's see what God through Paul told us in Ephesians 6, verse 13. He said, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor, the whole armor of God. Put on an armor of God, meaning that fortify yourself in the Lord. And when you put on the armor, that you may be able to withstand in evil days. And having done this, stand. Having done this, stand. Stand in Jesus Christ. I pray that you'll understand. Every day I tell you, Jesus said, few people, the true way, the narrow way, few people will find it. Not everybody. Not that you hold the Bible. Not that you preach the Bible. Not that you have titles upon title. There are people who have titles upon title. They have not found the true way. It is, it is a relationship. It is a heart with the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a heart with the Lord Jesus Christ. Find a place in the Lord and build a relationship. Paul has worshipped God many years. But he came to a point in Philippians. Philippians chapter 3 and the verse 10. Paul came to a point and said that I may know him. He want to know God more. It's a relationship. Do you know God? Do you know Jesus? The question is that, are you sure you were Christian? Are you sure? <laughs> there are many people that they think that they are Christians. There are many people that are preaching the gospel. They think that they are Christian. Oh, you don't say that. Oh, you are judging me. My brother, my sister, I don't have to judge you. But listen, the Bible says by their fruit, your fruit, your fruit, the, the way you live, the way you talk, the way you act, the things you do, nobody will judge you. But the things that you are doing is judging you. It's judging you. Don't you think that the world knows that we are the light of, of the world? I every day tell my listeners the church that there are people who are sitting under us. Don't think that you preach the gospel. You, you are called prophet, you are called apostle, you are called archbishop. And the people that sit under you don't know 
there are people they are more anointed more spiritual than you the pastor but being a pastor is a privilege and so if you begin to do the wrong things those who are sitting under you they know they know that there are some people they are more knowledgeable they are more wise but you as a pastor have a father privilege and then you come that hey i am the apple eye of god and so you don't judge me nobody is judging you but your works the Bible says your works will follow you and your works will bring you out. Live a righteous life. Live a righteous life. Let people see that something good is coming out of you as a righteous man. We are talking about crushing every satanic instrument against our lives, against our family. The family, most families are going through a lot. Most lives are going through a lot because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. 2 Corinthians 10 3 says that though we walk in the flesh, we are walking in the flesh. But our fight is not the flesh. And uh, it continues that the weapons, the weapons that we can use to fight the enemy is through God. And so if you have come to the Lord Jesus Christ and you cannot live a righteous life, you cannot live a holy life. <laughs> Somebody asked me, the pastor, why is it that most men and women of God cannot preach righteousness and holiness? They say because they don't walk in it. You cannot, you cannot preach what you don't practice. And so they begin to, to preach and inspire you so that you forget. I pray that there is no gospel apart from the gospel of righteousness and holiness. Jesus said that if you want to come after me, take up your cross, deny yourself. You have to deny yourself, turning away from your sin, turning away from your old behavior. That is why the Bible says, if anyone be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed and everything has become new. Are you sure? Your life in Christ Jesus, everything has become new. Somebody will get angry. Somebody will get angry when you begin to preach righteousness. Because you, we know, we, we always think that we are self-righteous. We are self-righteous. Nobody, hey, who are you to judge me? I every day tell you, we are not judging you, but we are preaching the truth. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes. And again, the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. Go and read Ezekiel 18 and read verse 5. It says, every soul is mine. The soul that sinned is what I. And so this is the word of God. This is the word of God. There is no other gospel. And so what, why, why, why do you want to get everything in the Lord without want, wanting to live a righteous life? Without wanting to live a holy life. Without, without thinking about that. God is a principal God. God says I am not a man that lieth. Have I said it and will I not do it? Our Jesus will one day come. Every day when you preach about righteousness. You preach about Christianity. People think that being a Christian. You leave your mind in the house. And so a Christian you become like a, 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 a dog. Or an animal go out. No. You have to be wise. You have to be wise. Because you are led by the Holy Spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus that in this fasting and prayer that you build a relationship that the Lord God, Paul say I may know him. And he continued to say, the power of his resurrection. <laughs> Every power is invested in the resurrection. Jesus told Mary and Martha that I am the resurrection and life. If you believe in me, though you are dead, you will still live. That is why he said that I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus came for our salvation. And so if you have come to Jesus Christ, if you have come to the church, you see, many people are sitting in the church for wrong motive. Some people, are, especially we Africans, we think that when you come to, you become a believer, all of a sudden, everything has to come. Everything. You have to be rich. That is lie. He came that you may have. Jesus came. That's the Bible says for the, the grace of God that brings salvation have appeared unto all men. And so all that this is has to live a godly life, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And so you come to Jesus for your salvation. After you have received the salvation, everything will be added unto you. And so if you are in Christ Jesus for the motive of becoming rich, that is why there is in the church of God, there is a lot of merchandise. People who go to church. And instead of, instead of preaching the gospel, they turn it into a place. No wonder Jesus even drove them from the church. Jesus drove some people from the church. Why? Because all they are thinking that when you come to Jesus Christ, automatically you have to be rich. 
They tell me one person who has prayed 24 hours, 7 days, the money will fall from heaven. I have never seen you. Money, you will not pray for money to come. I have not seen it. And so I every day tell Christians, don't sit down. Don't sit down 7 days, 24 hours and continue to pray and think the money will come. Money will not come. You have to work. Money is end. A Christian stand up and go and work. It is a law that God has given to humanity. A Muslim work, you earn money. A Christian work, you earn money. A, a Hindu work, you earn money. There is no magic in the kingdom. Don't let somebody tell you, bring all your money, bring all your wealth. Tomorrow, you are going to be a millionaire. He is a liar. They are liars. They are liars. Don't look at their titles. Some of them may be abush or some of them may be prophets. Don't look at their titles. There is no way in the Bible. <coughs> go, go and ask Elisha. Elisha will tell you, I will not get anybody. He told Naaman. Naaman. He told Naaman. Elisha told Naaman, take everything away. Gehazi went for it. And the leprosy of Naaman came on Gehazi. If you, if you, somebody will say, what are you saying? Go and read. Philip, yes, sorry, go and read us of the Apostle chapter 8. When Philip went to Samaria and Paul, Peter, Peter and Co. followed him. Simon, the sorcerer, wanted to give the money so that they could give the gift. He said, do you think the gift of God can be sold? My brother, my sister, child of God, listen to me. Somebody will be angry when we, you begin to preach the truth. The Jesus said, we, we, we shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You cannot buy anything. Hey, the money. The money hey, for every country you go, there is a currency. The currency you come to Ghana is see this. You come to America is dollars. You go to Europe is euro. But in the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ, the currency you use is your faith. Faith. You have faith in Jesus Christ. You cannot use anything to buy. You cannot use money to buy. And so don't let anybody lie to you. Don't let anybody lie to you. The only thing that is why the Bible says, without faith, it is impossible. It is impossible to please God. And those who have come to him must believe he is. And he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Somebody will say, why are you saying? Go and read Hebrews 11 and the verse 2. By, the Bible says, by faith, by faith, the elders, they receive good report. They receive good report. If you have come to Jesus Christ, seek the truth. Live a righteous life. There is no magic in the kingdom of God. There is no magic. Don't let anybody lie to you. That is why Jesus said, many are called, but few, few are chosen. Matthew 24 and the verse 24, he says that there will be false teachers. Teachers who teach a different that oh, bring bring money. And this church is a prosperity church. And bring everything, show everything. Very lie. The church is getting rich. Why the, the, the congregants, the church members are getting poorer. Because of, of Jesus said there will be false teachers. When you preach this, somebody will tell you, will say, When did you start preaching? Hey, what, what? it is it is not how long you have preached. As Bishop Duncan William said, no matter how long you are preached, you can still be deceived by the devil. It is not how long you are preached. It is not how long you have sat in the church. It is how you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. How you know the Lord Jesus Christ. How you know the Lord Jesus Christ. They will tell you how long have you been preaching. We have, we have, we have, we have, we have sat in the church for many years. And so we know the writing. Don't think the more you preach, the more you know. No, there are ignorant preachers that are preaching different. The Bible says even the elect will be deceived. Elect, those whom God has elected, they will be deceived. My brother, my sister, are you sure you are a Christian? There is no way except to trust and obey. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. I want to talk about the encounter with, with Jesus, an encounter with a, a man that was possessed by demons. Again, remember that on this earth, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. You are not walking. Hey, there are, there are some things. You see, I every day tell people, I used to argue, especially somebody would tell me, somebody would come and tell me, hey, this, this, this about the spiritual things. I looked at my brother's face and he looked at my face and we begin to laugh. But until I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ and God began to open my eyes to see the spiritual things. I said, I said, I tell some people will come to you with, hey, how beautiful they are. How good they are, but when, when you see, the Lord open your eyes to see the kind of spirit they have, hey, some are within my family, some are, are friends, some are in the church. The church, one day the Lord opened my eyes to see that a woman who was preparing the Lord's Supper for the church, the Lord's Supper for the church, who was a witch. 
And when I told the pastors, they started hating me. Go into the church. When you go into the church, how marriages are being destroyed? Hey, at that woman, if if you have you are married man, a woman, and you go, she come closer to you. Your home will destroy. Your life will be destroyed. Everything about you will be destroyed. Yesterday, sick in the church. Some of them have, have position in the church. Somebody will say, Pastor, what are you saying? I am telling you, be vigilant. That is why the Bible says we should be, be vigilant and watchful. Because our enemy is roaring like a lion. What is the devil seeking to do? He's seeking for somebody to devour, to destroy. And so stand still and resist the devil. The Bible says when you resist him, he will flee from you. So resist him. Stand in the Lord Jesus. The only way to resist the devil is in Jesus Christ. It's in Jesus. There is no other way. There is no other way. There is no other way. Without Jesus, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by me. May God have mercy on you. Today, I want to talk about a man who was possessed. And when he encountered Jesus, in the Bible, I have come to understand nobody encountered Jesus and went the same. Yes, you have been a Christian for many years. You are in the Lord Jesus for many years. But yes, sir, yes, sir, things are not going the way. My brother, my sister, change your body. Change your motive, change your perception. There are many Christians, let me say, they have come to the Lord Jesus for what they will get. For what they will get. Not how, how they can give their life. They can sacrifice their life. They can sacrifice their life. Do you know the secret? There is a secret in the gospel. Go and read. When you read the Bible, it says that we should present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. This is our reasonable service. This is our reasonable service. That is what the Bible encourages us. To, to present your body again the bible said there is therefore no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus listen to it those who are in christ jesus those who do not walk according to the flesh but walk according to the spirit you don't want to hear you don't want to hear everybody don't want to hear and they don't want to hear these things but there is no other way it's only jesus it's only jesus when you say it most people will get angry because they see other religions preaching another gospel and thinking that there is another gospel, there is no other gospel. There is no other gospel. Jesus Christ says, I am the bread of life. Jesus said, I am the only door. Jesus said, I am the door. I am the only gate. I pray that you enter the in the right. Let's go to Mark chapter 5 and the verse 1 going. I want to talk about the, the, the man that was possessed by the evil man. A man in trouble. And today, if you have come to the Lord Jesus Christ, yesterday I talked about the woman with the issue of blood. I don't know what the issue that you have. Maybe you have financial issue. Maybe you have a social issue, psychological issue, health issues. Bring everything to the Lord Jesus. This woman, the Bible says she had issue of blood. I've gone many places and it was amounting to nothing. Hey, human beings, because of what we want, we look at your face and we'll be lying to you. There are many people, many doctors, they can all, they, can, they don't know anything about it because they want money, like America. America, when you go to a physician, he will tell you, come, come and see me two weeks, three weeks, because of insurance. They will get everything before you, before you realize they have gotten everything. And so you will not go. If, if, if you, you are not sick, they will tell you, come in a week's time, two weeks' time, two months' time, come back and see me. Because they want to receive. <laughs> I pray that you, you will understand. This woman had an issue of blood. But the Bible says that the moment she purposed within her heart. That to hold the garment of Jehovah. Something <laughs> happened. That you left Jesus and entered her. And the Bible says she was hold. <laughs> Today I want to talk about a man who was possessed. The Bible says that. And they came over to other sides of the sea into the country of Galilee and when he was come out of the ship immediately there met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit my brother my sister the child of God listen there are many people that are walking on this earth there are many people hey the day that I every day say the day that God began to open my eyes the certain is that when you when you go to the devil just listen to the people who goes he, 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 I was listening to a young boy who was in college in, in Nigeria and they went for this Sagawa. 
He says that when they win, they begin to, <laughs> they, they have to sacrifice. And when they sacrifice, when they were coming home, they, they see the demons guiding them. The demons were, were the demons was, were around them. And so the devil will immediately open your eyes. But when you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, you need a relationship. You need a relationship. You need a relationship. A holy relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Then you begin to open your eyes. Immediately you begin to open your eyes, then you see them. You see them. Not everyone that comes closer to us have Christ spirit. Some of them, they are sent demonic agents that are around you. Praying and crushing every demonic weapon that the enemy has set against you and your family. Don't sit down for them to destroy you before you begin to pray. Don't sit down for them to, to destroy your children, your family. Some of us, we made that mistake. We made that mistake. We waited for them to destroy everything around us before we started living and, and waiting on the Lord. May the Lord have mercy on you. The Bible said there was a man who came. Jesus was going to Galilee and a man came from the tomb. Somebody, a human being created in the image of God, living in the tomb. <laughs> the tomb is a cemetery. All that the place where he was living is a cemetery. Cemetery. And how can a man leave a house and go to the cemetery? Except that man is possessed. A man is possessed by an unclean spirit. <laughs> the Bible says, when you continue, it says that, and this man was in the tomb with unclean, and he was bound by Satan. Verse 3 says, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with even a chain. And so this is a human being that was living in the tomb. And <laughs> he was bound by Satan. The devil is a liar. There are many people that have been bound by, by the devil. And so when they come out, oh, we don't believe in Jesus. We don't believe in Jesus. There is no God. Tell me one man. Tell me one woman who is so powerful and say, I will not die. I will not grow. I will not grow. I will not die. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a man that we came to Houston. A very handsome man. My brother and myself saw, saw him. And they say, Steve, Steve, I told my brother, my brother told me, hey, there is time for everything. There is time for everything. There is time for everything. All that beauty that you are walking around thinking, thinking that you are the most beautiful woman. One day, one day, the time is coming that when people see you, they will not look at you. They will not look at you. There is time for everything. I pray uh, that if you are seeking something, seek the Spirit of God. Paul told us, if you have something to boast, boast in the Lord Jesus. If you have something to boast, boast in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the world and never at last is passing away. But what will abide forever is the word of God. The word of God continue and it will come to pass. Jesus said the rapture will come. Tribulation will come. And everything will come. I every day tell people, yes, he may tarry beyond our days. But he will not tarry beyond the set time that he has set in heaven. Nobody knows. <coughs> Nobody knows when Jesus will come. <coughs> he said he will come like a thief, a thief, a thief in the night. Nobody knows. If any pastor, any man of God tells you, I know the, the day that Jesus will come, tell him. It's like death. Nobody knows when he will die. Nobody knows. Nobody knows when he will die. It is hidden. And though you may you may see sometimes some, some signs, but you will not know that I will live today or tomorrow. They just predict. But the devil will tell you, because you, will, you could not do this for me, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. And that is why some people say, some people predict their own death. Who told you? How can you predict your own death? The Bible says, we don't know. I don't know. He was bound by Satan. And the Bible says, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plugged. Ascended by him, and the fittest broken in peace. Neither could any man tame him. There was nobody. There was nobody. Hey, if you have ever encountered somebody who is possessed and you are casting demons, I, I have been in that situation many times. I have been in that situation. I heard a man of God uh, say that if you are if he is casting a devil and you say uh, go away, and the, devil, the demon say he will not go, he will leave you. There are uh, some people that I don't know. Nobody will intentionally say that I am possessed. I don't want it to go. It is you that you have to pray for them to release them from that spirit. There are many men of God that they are in the they are they, they are. You see, I every day say 
If you don't encounter Jesus Christ, if you don't take care, you, you cannot go to heaven. If you don't encounter Jesus, you cannot preach the truth. You cannot preach the truth. Some of them, most of them think, and so every, today, today, when you are a pastor, everything, everybody thinks that because you are a pastor, you are, uh, that is why you are rich. You are coming to preach because you have money. Yeah, you want money. It is no money. Some of them, some of us, if we don't preach the word of God, it's like fire in our bones. I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. Hey, I, every day tells you, I slept around 2 a.m. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. 3 a.m. My mom called me. 3 a.m. My mom called me. And when she called me, I was quiet. I said, why? I said, I just slept one hour. And you called me. But because of you have to talk. He said, sorry. And I, I lay down my head by 4, 4.30. I have to wake up and come and preach on the radio. See how many. And I thank God. I every day say, thank God. And our followers, nobody can say by any means, we have taken any money from you. No. It is the grace of God. It is the grace of God. We preach because, because we have encountered Jesus. And we know that Jesus is coming. Every word of God is true. Hey, go and read Genesis 19 and verse 14. When Lord went and told his son-in-law that they were going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, the Bible says, he seems as somebody who was mocked. They were laughing. As people are laughing at us, people, when they see us, they get angry. They get angry. They are laughing. What is this guy? That, this guy don't have anything to do. My brother, my sister. Sometimes we were like you. Think that oh, there was no Jesus. There was no, nothing. We were walking. Somebody asked me, Sunday. Also, for how are you so preaching passionately? And how, why? How, how come? I said, I have encountered Jesus. I have seen that it is real. It is real. It is real. It is real. Don't let anybody do, lie to you. Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be. They were drinking, they were eating, they were partying, they were going. These days in our generation, every claiming the church, the church, the church, going to the churches. You go into the church, everything in the world is in the church. No wonder, Luke 16 and verse 8, Jesus said, the children of this generation are wiser than the children of the kingdom of God. They are wiser. Because tell me, every, every club, every, every club that you go, that you hear them playing gospel music, <laughs> tell me, anyone that have gone to the club, go to the churches. Every church, a program, you see them playing the worldly music, and they, even the pastors will give excuses. They will give them excuses. No wonder the church is cold. No wonder there is no fire. No wonder many are going astray. No wonder. And the same men and women of God will give excuses. They will give excuses. I, I remember one day we went to a program. And all, all the music were worldly music. And myself and my twin brother, we asked them. The pastor and everybody. I don't want to mention the church. The church a very beautiful church. A good church. The pastor, the people were saying, Oh, how can we win the world? How can you win the world? And so to win the world, you have to, you have to be the world. Oh my God. I was just looking at his face. No wonder. No wonder the children, the youth, they, they don't want to go to church. The reason why the developed nation, the churches are collapsing, that they have accepted everything in the church. You can wear anything and come to the church. That is why it's why churches. And so the, 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 the youth that are growing, they don't see the difference between the church and the world. I pray in the name of Jesus. Somebody will say, Pastor, God say, you look at what is in the inside. And that is very important. The same Bible says, what is inside comes out. The same Bible says, what is inside comes out. And so what is filled, what you are filled, your heart is, is what will come out. Live a righteous life. Live a righteous life. Live a righteous life. There is no other gospel apart from the gospel of righteousness. This man was bound by the enemy. There are many people that they have been bound by the devil. There are many people. They are in chains. Some of them, it is happening through sickness. I know a woman that God revealed to me. Everybody was calling her barren. Barren. This woman is barren. This woman is barren. And this woman has been crying. The Lord revealed to me. Within the spiritual realms, I saw I saw that it's like they have tied her womb somewhere. I told her, you need a, a strong prayer. We have to pray. You, you yourself understand nobody can pray for you better than you can pray for yourself. Don't go and search for any man of God to pray for you. Don't go and search for. Hey, the prayer of intercession is good. But I every day tell you, nobody can pray better for you than you pray for yourself. The Bible says, enter your room. Matthew 6, 6 pray. And the God who see you, you in your closet will bless you openly. 
Don't go to a place where you'll be deceived. Then they'll begin to give you a direction. Go and stand in the river. Go and throw coins at the junction. They are also stressed. Any man of God that will tell you, go and throw coins at the junction. Go and by the riverside. They are so stressed. They are so stressed. They are no men of God. Yeah, they are so stressed. They have familiar spirit. And most of them, they are, they, Jesus said that they come like a sheep. They, but within them, they are wolves. How can God want to prophesy to you before you prophesy? He have to enter your room. Have to tell you your, your license plate number. Have to tell you your license plate number. They are evil. They are evil. They are evil. They, they will tell you the license plate number. Somebody who is getting confused. I'm speaking the truth. Be careful of them. God will never come to you before he tells you. He, he wants you to believe him before he prophesy and tell you what. God will tell you. Go into the Bible and see how the prophet they were prophesying. Any message that God gives give to them, they will come to you directly. And they will give to you. And not in our days. They will come to a church and they, they want to prophesy to everybody. Come here. I tell you that. Evil. 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 Somebody who is angry with us. You can fight me. You can insult me. But the truth shall make you free. The Bible says, well, you shall find the truth and the free truth shall make you free. Don't go to any place that they will give you direction. If the blood of Jesus cannot set you free, if the Holy Spirit, the name of Jesus cannot set you free, nothing can set you free. Nothing. Go into uh, to James. Right? He asks us, he says, when you go, the elders should pray with anointing oil. And the prayer of faith will heal you. Prayer of faith. And so the, uh, the thing that brings faith, that, that brings healing is faith. It's faith. And so don't, don't, don't go Jesus Christ, the Bible said this man was in chains. He was bound. He was a demon possessed. He was under demonic power. A lot of demon pains and could not be stopped. Nobody can stop him. But then he met the master. He met the master. Let me read. He said, but when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped Jesus. He ran and worshipped Jesus. No wonder people think that the, 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 the Bible is not the word of God. Hey, do you know the reason why? You can hold the Bible. And I every day say, no wonder. Hey, when we were growing, we have teachers that were teaching the, the Bible. We, we be care and everything. Really just said, I remember George Mason, George Mason University. When I was in George Mason University, I had a, a, a teacher, a lecturer. And this woman, a white lady. She, pre she was teaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. She never believed anything about Jesus. She was teaching that as, as a subject. Anytime in our class, in our class, <laughs> she says some things. And I say, hey, stop there. <laughs> she stopped there. One day she called me outside and said, Steve, I know how, how you fear the Lord. Anytime I, I teach in the class and you open your mouth, when I go home, I can't sleep. But please... Can you help me do one thing? I say, what do you want me to do? Can you keep quiet for me to teach it and go? I say, no, I don't, I don't, I, I, I am not. I am careful because you are misleading them. And if I'm there, you cannot mislead them. Because some of us, we are led by the Holy Spirit. You cannot mislead them. You cannot mislead them. As, as at times, when she wants to say something, I say, Steve, please don't talk. I know you know the right thing, but I'm teaching it as a subject. Some of these things, it has been written for us what it has to teach. And I said, Wanda, at the end of our semester, she called me to pray for her. And I know that God, my brother, my sister, you can hold the Bible. You can hold the Bible. You can preach the Bible. That does not make you a Christian. Don't, don't think that you can go and sleep in the garage and become a car. You enter the oven, you, you cannot come out as a bread. It depends on the ingredients that you are made of. The ingredients. It is, that is what that is why the Bible says that they, as many that are led by the Holy Spirit, they are the children of God. They are the children of God. Allow yourself. My prayer is that you will allow yourself to be led by the Holy Spirit. There is no other gospel apart from the gospel of righteousness. Don't let anybody preach to you. They'll preach to you. You are going to receive the whole world. Tomorrow you are going to move forward. Tomorrow you are going to get everything. My brother, my sister. Hey, listen. Inspiration is very good. But that does not make the word of God to come to pass. What will make the word of God to be obedient? To be obedient and walk in righteousness. There is no other gospel. This man was bound by the devil and could not do anything. But the Bible says when he saw Jesus Christ, he came to worship Jesus. 
he came to worship Jesus and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, the Son of the Most High God? I join thee by God that thou torment me not. Don't torment me not. This demon met his master. Again, remember the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, against principalities, a child of God. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. So find a place. The Bible says that they that dwell under the secret place, there is a secret place. Go into the Bible. The Israelites, when they got to the Red Sea, everything they saw was impossible. How can they cross the Red Sea? When they look back, Pharaoh and his men were chasing them. On the right was a mountain. On the left was a mountain. They were hid in between. The Pharaoh and his men said, the mountains have locked them in between. Go and read Genesis 13. Uh, sorry, Exodus 13, verse 1. They thought that everything, everything was impossible for them. But God, through Moses, told them the secret. Stand still in God. Find your place in the Lord Jesus Christ. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In everything, acknowledge him. The Lord will direct your path. He is God. If this God who created heaven and earth, if this God who said let there be and there was, if this God is leading you in this life, hey, woman, listen to me, child. Do you think you are going to fail in this life? Some of us will never fail. Hey, you, you, you just sit down. Let them gather and let them wait. Make a way keep him for a life. We will never fail. Because we have seen the true God who created heaven and earth. I have seen him. And he's the mighty God. He encountered the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, why do you torment us? Do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? The question is, do you know? Do you truly know Jesus? If you don't know Jesus, give your life to Jesus. Don't let anybody lie to you. Jesus said, few, few, few. In this end time, not many people will go to heaven. No, not many people. There will be a lot of surprises. <laughs> there are lots of su su surprises at the gates of heaven. Jesus himself said it. I did not say it. It was, it was Jesus words. Go and read Matthew 7, 21. Not everybody that say, Lord, Lord. And so not all of them that are preaching, Lord, Lord. Would enter into they that do the will of the Father, and that is the secret to the gospel. And this is my prayer for you that you begin to do the right thing, live a righteous life, and you see the glory of God. Jesus encountered him. We are talking about crushing, breaking every demonic instrument that the enemy has formed against you and your family. You have to stand up for it. If the devil can use one man, one woman to destroy the entire family, God can use you to build the family. God can use you to revive the family. God can use you to save the family. I was listening to a Nigerian, a Nigerian preacher. This man has a church in uh, Ukraine. He says that God through him has revived. In, they grew up in the village. Nobody. But the only way that he encountered Christ Jesus, encountered Christ Jesus, and through that God transformed. My brother, the word of God is true. Jesus is real. I say Jesus is real. Jesus is real. Except hey, you can preach the gospel, you can do anything. But as what makes it real is believing in the Lord Jesus. That is why the Bible says, <laughs> Dear children, for you have overcome them. But greater is he that is in you than the one that is in the world. He said, Whoever is born of God overcome this world. And this is our, 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 our victory, our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in the Lord. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Demons were worshiping Jesus Christ. Why? Because they know. That he had the authority. And the Bible says, For he said unto him, Come out of the man and the unclean spirit. He asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, Say, My name is Legion. For we are many. We are many. We are many. Many. A lot of them. I remember. I remember we were having a program. And a program. And my, my brother, we were organizing the program. And a very handsome Ghanaian young man, very handsome, a man, a guy that every 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 woman would love to 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 have a relationship with, um, a guy that every every young woman want to have a relationship with. He called me, and go call me. I call my brother. He said, "Osof, I want you to help me." I said, "What do you want me to do for you?" He said, "I am a wish sad. I have a an evil spirit. I am. I have an evil spirit." And uh, any woman I sleep with, I destroy him. I am not saying somebody said that. I am saying, uh, so he told me. I was even surprised. I was even shocked. Hey, there are many men and women walking. My brother, my sister, if you know, you'll be more, you have more relationship. 
Immediately this guy started speaking. He says, I am, so full. I am disturbed. I am worried. But anytime I come to the program, do you, when I look at your face and look at your brother's face, <laughs> within me I feel, I feel, I don't, I am not happy. Can you help me? Then I told him, let me go and, and tell the, the man of God, the prophet. He said, oh, no, no, the prophet don't have, we are, we are, we are the same. The prophet, the kind of spirit the prophet have is the same. My brother, my sister, don't, don't follow any spirit. There are many men and women, they came, that guy came, and we have to help him. We have to help him. There are many of them. There are many women. There are many of them that are possessed. They need help. They are legion. He said, many. There are a lot. Hey, the network of the devil is large. I tell you honestly. The network. The network. Me, when they see me, they meet me every day. All of a sudden, they begin to look at my forehead. They begin to look here. Immediately, the Spirit of God will tell me, I just smile. They will look straight to your forehead. Because one of them told me at my workplace, one of them, he told me, call me and say, can you come? I say, I came to you. Say, you have a different spirit. The spirit that you have, continue to hold it. You have a different spirit. I have walked. I don't see. I don't see that spirit in many people. I, I say, you don't know. We, we are always fasting. We are praying. <laughs> we will pray to, to 2 a.m., 1 a.m. And we'll go and sleep. And so you sit down and talk about us. Say, sit down. And I'm meeting about us. It will not fail. Because I was trying to prayer and fasting. <laughs> that is why we depend on and this is why God has brought us this far and he beseech him much that he would not send them away out of the country now there was there nearby mountains of great hills or swamps and they cast Jesus have to cast them into the swamps Jesus the Bible says he cast them into the swamps and they began to pray him to depart from the coast. When you read, I want to, to end this so that we can have time to pray. The Bible says that the, the, the whole, the witnesses now, a living witness, the guy became a living witness. Somebody who was possessed, somebody who was living in, a, in the tombs, when he encountered Jesus Christ, he came home. Let me start from verse 17. And he said, And they began to pray him to depart out of their coast. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. And be Jesus suffered him not, but said unto him, Go home to thy friends. Tell them how great things the Lord has done for thee and had compassion on thee. <coughs> Go to them and tell them what the Lord has done and how God has had compassion in you. The word of God is true. There are many men and women that came to the Lord Jesus Christ with their problem. Jesus said, come to me, on that he that labored and have you led him, and I'll give you rest. And so, brother, a child of God, listen to me. If you have come to the Lord Jesus, be patient with the Lord. The devil will never give you a break. The devil will never give you a break. The devil will trouble you. Hey, he wants you to deny Jesus. He wants you to say that there is no God. He wants you to, to disbelieve. But the Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord. I love that scripture. Let me go read it. Isaiah 40. And we end and we will pray. Isaiah 40. Let me read from verse 28. And here. He says that. Had thou not known. Had thou not heard. That the everlasting God. The Lord. The creator of the ends of this world. Faint not. Our God. And the Lord Jesus. The Lord, our God never faint not. <laughs> he said he faint not. Neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. You cannot search it. You cannot search it and understand it. He says that he gives power to the faint. And to them that have no mind, he increase. But they that wait upon the Lord, be patient with God. The Bible says, be still and know that I am the Lord. Have, be, uh, uh, be patient with God. Your time will come. Hey, your time will come in the name of Jesus. And uh, seek the true and the righteous gospel. Seek the true and the righteous gospel. Seek the true and the righteous gospel. Don't, don't just go to a place whereby <laughs> there are many of them, they are pouring, they are pouring, they are pouring water <laughs> on dry bones. I read about a, ch a church, a man of God. This man of God was testifying. This man of God <laughs> was preaching and was testifying. He says that he, he, he started preaching about prosperity. The church, he preached about it. And the man came to the church. And the man was wretched, wearing his clothes and everything. He told the man to go. Anytime the man will come to the church, 
This man will come and sit and face the front seat. And the church, all he preaches prosperity. Prosperity. And he told them, and he got angry. Any time the man will come, he will tell the ushers, go and take him to the back. And after the church, you go and tell the man, this church is, everybody is rich. We are rich in this church. And so, if you want to come, go and pray to God. God will tell you how rich everybody is. One day before the church, the man stood up and said, I want to ask Jesus. And Jesus said he has never been to this church. And so you don't know what the church, your kind of dressing and the things you do. There are many churches, God has never been there. The spirit of God is not there. They are familiar spirits. And the pastor was confused. Are you sure? There are some people, they are angels. They come and no, don't go at that type of church you go. Go to a place that when you sit in your sin, the spirit of God will fall upon you. The conviction of the Holy Spirit. You cannot go. Go back and, and sin the sin. You go to a church every day. You continue to sit in your sin. <laughs> a guy was telling my brother, one of the churches, he said it's the best church. And my brother asked him why. He says that church, when you go, you can do anything. You can go and drink and come. You can even sleep with somebody's wife and husband. You can go and s s do anything in the church. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And, say, and, and if you are happy. You continue to sit in that church because of excuses. Oh, that is my father's church. That is my mother's church. Go to a place that you hear the word of God. It is our prayer that anytime we have opportunity to preach the word of God, somebody will come to the Lord Jesus. Somebody will turn back to the Lord Jesus. That is my prayer. Say, God help me to win the soul. Just so one soul for you, the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other way. My prayer is that come. This guy encountered the Lord Jesus Christ and he was set free. Every disgrace was was turned out. The Bible says he will give us double honor for all the disgrace and shame. God will honor you. It will come to pass. Every disgrace, every trouble will come to pass and people will realize the kind of God that you serve. We never end our broadcast. We are going to pray. I believe in prayer. I said fasting and prayer. And so I have to have time to pray with you. And bring everything. When you pray, after you pray, step out. Whatever you want to do, go. Step out and go. Don't pray and sit in the house. Sit in the house seven days. The, it is not scriptural. The, the, the world is wise. The world, they will get up and go and work. You go to Africa, somebody will go and sit in the mountain I mean, 24, uh, 30 days and you are still on the mountain praying. You come back, then you come to bed. You come to bed. You, you cannot find the way to heaven. You cannot find the way to heaven. That is no possible. You, you cannot pray money and money will come from heaven. If you, if you want to look for a job, you don't go to interview. How can they hire you? Do you think that the company will come to your house and come and take, tell you that, oh, you are praying seven days, you are praying 24 hours. God says, ah, we have to come and call you and bring you to the work. It, it doesn't exist that way. <laughs> the Bible says, lack of knowledge, my people are perishing. The children of God are perishing. Stand up. Well, after you pray, after we finish praying, take a, a step of faith, go. Take a step of faith and go. Don't think that you are going to pay. You are going to pay a thousand dollars, and you are going to pay two thousand dollars, and tomorrow you'll be a millionaire overnight. Whilst you don't even have a, a company. Don't let them lie to you. They are all. They are all sorcerers. They are sorcerers. They are magicians. They are not. They are not working for God. You see them always fighting and insulting and doing it. But the Bible says, "By their fruit, you don't know how to talk to, to judge." The, their fruit will tell you they are not of God. Their fruit, I will tell you, they are not of God. Go to a place whereby they will preach salvation and your soul will be nourished and you can walk in righteousness. Nobody want to hear. And when you are preaching like this, nobody want to hear. God has made me to understand. Jesus has made me to understand that few, few, few. And so the few that want to listen to us will allow ourselves through the Holy Spirit to lead them the right way to the kingdom of God. God bless you. <laughs> if you have not accepted Christ as your personal Savior, there is no Jesus told Nicodemus, except a man be born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Except you are born of water and, and the spirit, you cannot enter. Meaning that to, to enter you, <laughs> into the kingdom, you have to allow yourself to be led by the Holy Spirit. And so a Christian who cannot hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, hey, there is a question mark. A question mark. Because every voice can deceive you. But the voice of the Holy Spirit will never it will take you to the right throne. Oh Jehovah, say this, say Lord Jesus, I, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. 
Father, your word says, if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. All things are past, and everything has become new. As I've accepted you, may you order my steps. Lead me until you come. We we'll call me from this earth in Jesus' name. Don't leave. We are going to enter into a time of prayer. We are going to pray. And after we pray, take a step of faith. Take a step of faith. <laughs> a man a man was telling me. A man came to me and tell me that also if we need a child, we'll be praying. We will pray for a child. But my wife don't allow me to sleep with her. My wife don't allow me. And I asked the woman, do you, do you, do you, are you sure you need a child? He said, Sophie, yes. But why don't you allow your husband to sleep? He said, I said, Sophie, I said, listen, maybe the time that you, you, the time that the enemy will cause your heart to be arrogant, and by the time you are driving your husband, anytime you are driving the husband, may be the time of conception. That's when the time of conception, <laughs> anger will come, and you, and you drive the woman from you. And then you don't have any child. Then you come back and cry on God. You cry on God. There is no magic in the kingdom of God. <laughs> Everything that you pray, God has given us, has put him this in place. The only thing that prayer does, prayer will tie the hands of the enemy. Prayer will open an opportunity. Prayer will bring the spirit of God. And God, you have to do it. And so when we pray, you take a step of faith. Hallelujah. Find a church again. Find a church. If you live in Houston, Texas, you don't have any church. Thank God, we God has started the church through us. I'm the chief servant. I always say I am a servant. I am the servant of the church, and so I tell people, don't don't bother to call my name. I, don't, I am not after titles. I am after souls. And so come and let's worship. You find salvation for your soul. And Jesus, Amen. Begin to thank God. Let's enter into a time of prayer. Let's enter. Begin to thank God. Thank God for your life. Thank God for your children. Hey, there are many people who want to hear this. There are many people who want to hear the word of God, the true word of God. But how many people? Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for your life. Thank God for your children. Thank God. Thank them. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name. Somebody bless the Lord Jesus. Thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Thank the Lord for his and Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the praise. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. Somebody thank the Lord. Bless the name of our Lord. Thank God for your life. Thank God. There are many people who want to hear the true word of God. There are many people who are sitting under a feet, a wrong place. Listen to wrong messages. We pray in the name of Jesus. Rakande bonda riadaba, rinti karabo, and terebo rokas in the riadaba. Father, we pray. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray this prayer with you. That the Lord, the Holy Spirit, will lead you to a right place. A right place. I was listening to a, a, a Muslim. He was at the mosque and he encountered the Lord Jesus. And when he saw the Lord Jesus visited him, he said that nobody understood. And the Lord led him. He said when the Lord was leading him to a church, there were big churches. Then the Spirit of God would tell him, no, not this church, not this church. He got to a place, a small church, a few members. He said, this is where my servant is. This is the church I've chosen. But they themselves don't know that is the church because the pastor was living a righteous life. My brother, my sister, I pray that, that is all my prayer. There are good churches and there are bad ones. There are bad ones. You see a lot of people there, but you think, may the Lord direct you. You are praying that God direct me to a right place. Direct, direct me to the right place because nobody want to hear the true gospel. Nobody want to hear. The Bible says that in these last days, many will have itching ears. They will have itching ears and they will run to, for, for teachings. The Bible says, go and read Peter, Second Peter 2. The Bible said it that in this last day, nobody want to hear. We are praying. Let me read the scripture and you see Second Peter. Let me read it that we are going to preach right now. Let me read Second Peter uh, 2 and the verse 2. And you, you hear, you hear Second Peter, the verse 2. It says, that, And many shall follow their perversious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil. Spoken of many. 
the Bible says. And through covetousness shall they, uh, them, they with fish words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now are along. Then he was talking about the false prophets. And so I pray that you find the right way. And there is no other gospel apart from Open your mouth and pray that Father, Holy Spirit, direct me to the right place. Hey, at times you may be at the right place. But because the pastor will tell you pray, and will not come and prophesy lie to you. Prophesy lie. If God wants to prophesy to you, he has to go to your kitchen and come to your bedroom. Evil men, evil men, evil men, evil men, evil men. Evil men. I know that some of them will hear me and they, they will get angry. They'll get angry. They are sorcerers. At the time I sit down at a meeting, I, I, I look at them and I just begin to smile and laugh. God will not enter your kitchen before he tells you what he wants to tell you. God will not tell you your, the license plate of your, your car. Will not tell you the license plate of your car. <laughs> they, they, they'll write it. They, they'll write it and they send it to them. And then they'll begin to, to I saw this car number, evil man. Open your mouth and pray. Father, we pray. We pray in the name of Jesus. Show us the right way. Show us the right way. Rapandere boroka de ba. E pantara ba. Rikandere bo sobra. Andere boroka. E pantisi briana ma. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Da urade chira me kwa. Show me the right way. Show me the right place and that I will grow in you in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name. I remember one of the days somebody sent me a message or someone because you don't have a spirit of prophecy. That is why I said, listen, <laughs> to prophesy lie to people, I would never do it. I would never. <laughs> Some of us, we, God has given us all the gifts. I can I, uh, listen to the people, the people who are closer to me. And people, I can tell you, and it will come. Hey, if I am not sure the Holy Spirit, I will not come and tell you. I will tell you just what, what the Spirit of God is telling me. And it will come to pass. It will come to pass. It will, will come to pass. Uh, my brother will tell you. You see, I will not come and <laughs> come and lie to you. I have not seen it, and I'll come and tell you I've seen it. It's for you to believe that, oh, that God, man of God is powerful. I don't want to be powerful before your sight. I want to be powerful before God's sight. I want to be powerful before God's sight. We are praying. You are praying against every, every spirit. That have come into your life. Everywhere they are, are planning evil concerning your life. They are planning evil. The men and women we meet. Hey, some people are going through what they are going through. Not because of the sin you committed. Your home is destroyed not because of the sin. But because somebody will envy the husband. Somebody will envy the wife. Somebody will envy the child. Somebody will, will just see you one day and they begin to envy you. Hey, <laughs> last Saturday we went to a store. Myself and my twin brother. When we go to the store, a guy came. We have not done anything. All of a sudden, the guy got, got angry. I look at my father, my brother. Maybe some my brother say, and then I go so. Have we done anything to the guy? The wolf food, then, 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 going out and coming out like he was fighting us. I said, so we keep quiet and let's go. Don't say anything. You know, there are some people. Immediately they see you. They see the anointing. My brother, you are praying against every demonic anger, everywhere they have gathered. If somebody is angry. Had it been somebody, you have been left and destroyed. Somebody, had it been somebody, you, you, I remember when I was going through my, a family crisis in my home, a man of God I work with and friends, they look at my face and they were laughing. They were laughing. People that I think that they will have compassion and stand with me, they look at me and they were laughing. After I finished that, I say, you cannot be my friends again. No, 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 you will not. Instead of them praying, they were happy. They were happy. We are praying that God, everywhere they have gathered, we are praying in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that whatever they have gathered against you, secretly they have gathered, they are planning evil against your home. They are planning evil against your ministry, against your children, against that daughter, against that son, against that home, against that family. They are planning evil. Pray that they will write for that whoever is planning, whoever will be pure and right They will train They are thinking evil. They are thinking evil for that one. Hey, we pray in the name of Jesus. Zapran derebo, ekantara boronti kadaba, e pap. 
Bandere Borondi Kada Bandereba Rakando Roborondi Brianaba E Kanto Roborondi Briana Banda Zenderebe in the name of Jesus in the name somebody pray Rika no Bonda Briana Banda Raba in Tantara Boron Kanda Briana Banda in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Raka de Borondi Karaba E Pam Bandere Borondi Karaba somebody pray pray be your mouth and pray pray in the name of Jesus a cantor of Rondiba in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Pray the Father, wherever they are, whoever has gathered against me, every evil plan, every evil plan, every evil. Be your one on a bonfire, but be your one so Everywhere they have planned evil against your life, everywhere they have planned evil against your life, you are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, destroy, 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 turn their evil ways. Rokadabanerebo Rondiba. E papande re borondi kande re baraba ronde ba zibranda e kanto ro boroka de ba opio ma fe pre every evil device every evil weapon ronde kada da ba in the bo je kabranda zende re boronda in the name of jesus in the name of jesus ronde kanda ra boronde kada ba in the name of jesus father we pray we pray to the accounts we pray to the homes we pray to the gathering oh let fire let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume them. Let the power of God Christ them. in the name of Jesus. And the Boronda, Rante Kana Bunda Rabara, Ronde Zebranda, E Pandara Boronti Kanaba, E Pandara Boronti Kanaba, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Ronde Pandere Boron Kanaba, E Kandoro Borondeba, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Rokada Pandere Borondeba, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Bright. God bless you, Papa, for the resurrection power. We are praying. We are praying. The Bible says we shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon us. The Bible says Jesus called them and gave them power over uh, scorpions and serpents and all powers of the enemy. That nothing. And so we are praying uh, for the infilling power and indwelling presence of the Holy Ghost. My brother, my sister, you cannot win this life without the Holy Spirit. You cannot. You will not. Maybe that is why many people are running to the shrine. Many people, they are running. They are running. I met an, an African-American bishop, a man who was telling me, he, and another one, they were telling me, they were mentioning some, some, of, some, some of the musicians, some of the, the American basket players, and that the, uh, you hear their names, they are very, very good. Uh, he told me they are all awkward. He told me they are all awkward. He told me some people. And he began to tell me the secret society. Hey, the, the, uh, he, there are many, many leaders. The, uh, it's within the leaders. It's within the leaders. And they are everywhere. And so you hear their lives that you wonder why they are rich, but they are not happy. They are they are in position, but they are not happy. I pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister, we are praying. All you need to put that say that I may know him. The resurrection power. The resurrection power. You are praying the resurrection power is the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God. And so the Bible says, if the Spirit that left a Christ from that dwells in us, the same Spirit will quicken us. It was right. One Pray that Lord empower me with the Holy Spirit. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth. And pray for the resurrection power. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. Paul said that I may know him. The fellowship of his suffering. Hey, he wants the resurrection power. Open your mouth and pray that empower me. Empower me with that spirit. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. The psalmist said, I need you every hour. Most gracious God. No tender like thee. A voice like thee. Can peace afford. I need you, oh Lord. I need you every hour. I need you, most gracious God. We need Him. We need His presence. The Bible says we shall receive power when the Holy Ghost is coming. Let the Spirit of God be empowered to overcome. Be empowered to be enlightened. Be illuminated by the Holy Spirit to know what is good and bad. The people around you, let God open your eyes to see them. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in 
Tarama. Somebody pray with us. Somebody pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for the resurrection power. It's only in Jesus Christ. It's only in Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. It's only through the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God. The Spirit that fell on the day of Pentecost. The disciple they waited for the Spirit. And it is the power, the resurrection power. Open your mouth and pray with us. Out of a pompire, rock and the brandas of all in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, run the canaba, a condor of a run the canaba, the reborota, a bandere was a branda. In the name of Jesus, 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 a cantor of a run the briadaba, in the name of Jesus, and the reboroca da bandereba, in Jesus' name. I want us to pray for you. Maybe through your weakness and through a little bit mistake. Uh, there are many people, it's not even a mistake. Maybe you just relaxed and the enemy has sown a seed. Some of you, it may be sickness. Some of you, it may be your life. Hey, there are many marriages that have been destroyed. Not because the other woman was bad. Not because that man was bad. But because somebody will destroy, that, they, will, hey, they will destroy that marriage. Hey, I remember a guy told me one relationship. It's also for I say yes. I love my wife. My wife also love me, but we we don't know why that we are separating. Somebody will force you to destroy your whole home. Somebody they will force you. So look at how beautiful you are. Yes, sir. You are going through. They are very wicked. They are very wicked. We we are praying. They have sown a spiritual husband, a spiritual wife in your life. They have sown in your children. That handsome boy, that handsome girl, somebody wants to destroy. I every day tell people, no, no child will say that. I want to do, I want to be on drugs to destroy my life. I want to be on drugs. They will bring somebody into their lives. And immediately they begin to evolve, they will destroy their lives. And they will ruin their lives. You are praying every demonic seed that has been sown in your life. That has been sown in your family. That has been sown in your children, your wife, your husband. May the Holy Spirit uproot it. When you are into two months, I will Yeshua Christ with him. Be one of Not bumpy, catch it every day. Open your mouth and pray that Father, every seed, every seed, every behavior that the enemy wants to use as a tool to destroy my life, to destroy every spirit of divorce, every spirit over my children, my life, my family's life, for my life. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray. Somebody pray with us. Pray with us. Pray with us. Pray with us. Crushing every demonic instrument, every instrument of the enemy against your family. We are crushing it. We are breaking it. Break it. Break it. Open your mouth and say, Holy Spirit, enter my life. Enter my friend. A spiritual life and uproot every every seed, every sickness, demonic sickness, every demonic sickness that have been sown in my life. I pray in the name of Jesus. A branda raboroko, a cantara baron de briada banda, a cantara baron de briada ba. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, run the cara bande raboroka da ba, a papa ne raboron de briada ba. In the name, the name, the name, the name of Jesus, run the Karada bandere borro kada ba, ri kanto ro borro di brande ri ada banda zendere me, ronte karada ba, ri kado bonda ri ada banda zondo ro borra. Father in the name of Jesus, in the borro, and I will thank you, we bless you. Ronte kada ba, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus name, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, those on the Facebook you don't hear, I have with me my own papa evangelist, bright, a great man, has brought our ministry this far. It is through his hand that God has brought us this far. He's on the other side on the radio. And so we want to pray with, he's praying with us for you, especially those who are on the Facebook. Mom, who are radio, so they are more and come. Those who are on the Facebook, you don't hear. And those who are on the YouTube, you don't hear. But he's behind. And so we want to, with his spirit, when, when he comes like this, I want to use him to pray for you. And so, there are many who are watching us that have problems. They have problems. You have problems. We are praying with you. Every day morning, there are some people who are sick. There are some people who are praying for divine intervention. For the fruit of the womb, some people that pray for their husbands and wives. I every day tell you, 
that that don't sit down and say that you are married to Jesus. Nobody is married to Jesus. Nobody. <laughs> to be single does not mean automatically you go to heaven. And, uh, and some people will say we don't take marriage to heaven. And so you want to live a single life. Every life has its challenges. Every life has its challenge. And so don't, don't sit down and, be, and think that oh, I want to. You have to marry. May the Lord send yeah, that partner into your life. May the Lord send. Because what is sweet is sweet. What you have to enjoy, you have to enjoy. If you don't take care, it will kill you. And so we are praying with Papa. We want to pray for you. We are praying that some people, they need divine intervention. Some of you, you have been in a, in a country and you need your documents. Some of you, you are praying for your children. Some of your children are going wayward. Some of you, you need your husband to come home. You need your wife to come home. We are praying with you. As we are joined with you, we want to pray for all our listeners, our viewers. Open your mouth and pray. Father, we pray. Open your mouth. We are praying for you. We are praying for you. We are praying. We are praying. We are praying with you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we commit your children with my father. We pray. We pray for our listeners. We pray for them. We pray. Father, we pray for them. We pray. Raka de Bona Briadaba. In Tantara Boronde Briadaba Nara Boronde. In the name of Jesus. 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 Roka da Bandere Boronde Briadaba. Runde Zabrandara Boronde Briadaba. In the name of Jesus, Father, we come against that sickness. We come against diabetes. We come up against every cancer spirit. We come against every COVID. We come against. We pray. We pray. We uh, every marriage that the enemy has said. We cast out. Uh, against every family husband every spiritual husband spiritual wife we pray out every demonic spirit spirit of drug addiction spirit of bad behavior we pray them out from the children from life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, God bless you. God bless you, everybody, for watching us and for listening to us. And those who are watching us on Facebook, could you please share for us? If you will come, just share our messages for us. Nobody want to share. As you see. The true things that will bless people, nobody wants to share. The things that will destroy, they will, everybody will be sharing. And so share for us on your page that somebody will listen to the word of God and come to the Lord Jesus. And listen to this announcement. It's also very important. An announcement that I always 